My name is William Seymour, Scott Chalenoch, Chief of the Cowichan people. Cowichan has been around for millennium. Our history goes back a long, long ways. Our elders talk about where we come from and and uh, those that fell from the sky, our first leaders in the Cowichan. Cowichan is situated on Vancouver Island in BC, population of 5,000 today. We are the biggest band in BC. We look at what we're doing I'm at the Natural Museum of History in New York City. I traveled here with two counselors, Craig George and L.B. Charlie, and one of my staff members, Dan Hinckley. We wanted to document the artifacts from Cowichan. Uh, my name is L.B. Charlie, uh, from Colton Tribes. Oh, okay. And, uh, Will you tell us a little bit about this mask? Um, yes, this is uh, a Hui mask that comes from the Coast Salish area. That's like uh, Coltrane, Saanich, uh, Victoria, Nanaimo, Musqueam, Ch uh, Chilliwack, uh, just now starting to move into Western Washington. <laughs> These masks are passed on from generation to generation and it only belongs to specific families. Not anyone can use that mask, it has to be earned. Uh, not everyone in one family, not always, have these masks. You have to earn them before you receive them. Oh, interesting. Um, there are so many disciplines that you have to follow in order to keep it. Even if you have a mask, if you don't follow the discipline, the elder in your family can take that mask away from you. Oh, so there are levels of masks that you have to work through throughout your life? Uh, no, no, there's a levels of disciplines to earn that mask. But, well, I guess what I'm asking is there are like certain time frames or certain ages, kind of like a coming of age type? Is that what you mean? Or is it more like, um, like disciplines? What do you mean by discipline? Uh, the teaching that goes along with the mask are the values of life that you have to respect. This, these are sticks, deer hoofs that are used in our winter ceremonies in the Coast Salish area. And what are the Co Coast Salish? What is it? Coast Salish areas, Colchin, Nanaimo, Saanich, Victoria, Musqueam, Chilliwack. Chehalis in oh. Western Washington. Oh, that's right. The same in that particular. How wide? How big would you say that the area is? Is, is like miles? Like it's it's it's, it's far. It's <laughs> just, big. Yeah, it's big. And again, um, you have to earn this to receive this. When once you become in, into the spirit dancing, you don't receive that minimum four years, or when you show the elders that you're going to earn it. And you don't play with this. It's, you don't bring it close to children. Why wouldn't you, uh, I mean, is it just because it's not a toy, I guess is what you mean? It's more respected? It's spiritual. Uh -huh. there's, there's, it's very spiritual and sacred. Yeah. 
that you don't play with that. And are these other parts of the? Uh, yes, there's other parts that you can take it off and you can put that on your legs when you're dancing in the, the winter ceremonies. Oh, okay. And we're so connected to Mother Earth, we call that our Squamit, that the ground is very sacred. And this is, helps clean that sacred ground. It protects you. That protects you from, from the ground because they say the ground is very sacred and very powerful. We also have to connect to the ground, to respect the ground, in order for it to be safe. And when we learn to respect that, rather than it being our enemy, it becomes our advocate. The feathers? The feathers. It's from the Swai Fai dress. Yeah. Yeah, this, uh, this feathers you see here is, goes with the mask over there because they have a dress and it's wrapped around here. And again, that's protection from the ground and it picks up all the emotion in, in the longhouse or wherever you dance. What type of feathers are those actually though? There are different kinds of feathers. There are eagle feathers and uh, swan feathers. Okay. So uh, I'm familiar with a lot of the American native, uh, a lot of the American native Indian, some of that culture has to do with believing in like stones, meanings in stone, like rocks. Mm -hmm. Do y'all also have that same type of meaning? And could you give, maybe give a few descriptions of some like stones that you know of that mean certain things to you? or your, your tribes? Um, no, the only thing I can say again is our connection to Mother Earth. It's just like what you were saying earlier, that they all connect to Mother Earth. There's a strong relationship that we have to respect. designing the uh, American Indians section of this museum. There are some artifacts on display that are sacred to our people and we're recommending that they take those out of display and put them back in storage. When I look at uh, the other issue of repatriation, we're opening up discussions with the staff here at the museum of some day of bringing our artifacts back home to the college. And in order for me to do that, uh, it's going to require that we build a museum of our own so that we can show and display our own artifacts. Some of these artifacts that we're looking at are dating back to the 1800s. So they're very old, but they tell a history of the culture of people. Ensuring that the true story of what those artifacts are and comparing them to today, some of the things on display here the college of people are still using this. And uh, the 
year that they were brought here. The staff here is willing to share in all this information and our discussions uh, uh, we would like to repatriate and uh, this morning's discussion was towards the process of doing that. It's going to be a slow and uh, long process so I think it's important that we start now and so far I think it's been very positive. That's great. So are they are they basically saying that they, that you have to have a museum though in order to get your artifacts back? No, they haven't said it. Oh, okay. That's, but that's the idea. That's Coach's wish. Okay. Uh -huh. To have our own museum. Um, there's this museum is just the start. There's uh, many museums all over the world that have Coach's artifacts and. Uh, in order for us to start the repatriation, we need a place to store okay. or display. Yes. Well, that's amazing. Is there anything that you would like to tell, uh, uh, maybe one last message that you would like to share about your people and about just natives in general, indigenous people to the Americas? When, when we look at a lot of the issues going on today, uh, conservation, environmental issues, and, and uh, what we need to do to move forward. And I think that looking at how First Nations people looked after their land through thousands, thousands of years, uh, and working with our governments to ensure that they keep those kind of thinking in any activities that are going on. 